On March 31st, 2013, Kevin Ware suffered a brutal leg injury during Louisville's Elite Eight matchup against Duke. Ware came down awkwardly on his right leg, and the leg crumpled, exposing the bone and resulting in a compound fracture. Ware's injury was one of, if not the worst and most sickening in recent sports history. It ranks up there with the likes of Willis McGahee and Marcus Lattimore's knee injuries in college football, where his team, the Louisville Cardinals, were already the favorites to win it all going into the tournament. The only question after his injury was would the inspiration to win for Ware outweigh the impact of his absence from the court? Louisville went on to take down Duke with a score of 85-63. to Then they advanced to the Final Four. In this round, they faced the ninth-seeded aspiring Cinderella story, Wichita State Shockers. The Shockers had an inspirational story of their own, coming from a small conference and being an underdog in the tournament. But again, Louisville put another notch in the W column, remembering their fallen teammate as they continued their journey to the national championship. In the national championship game, they faced a Michigan team that was led by arguably the best player in college basketball, Trey Burke. A few days before the game, it was rumored that Kevin Ware might be released from the hospital in Indianapolis in time for him to make it to the game in Atlanta. And sure enough, walking with the support of crutches, Kevin Ware was with his team at the national championship game. Went on to defeat Michigan 82-76. So what's next for Kevin Ware? Right off into the sunset? Not his style. Less than a month removed from the, his gruesome injury, Ware tweeted a picture of him rehabbing with an inspiring caption about not giving up. Then, just six months after the injury, Ware was able to dunk again. Nothing was going to hold him down. He played nine games this season and has since been medically redshirted for the rest of the season. But if his comeback from his previous injury is any clue, I'd bet he'll be back next season.